What's up people? We have just traveled 7,150 miles to the mysterious land of Peru. <laughs> Yes, we took three flights because I'm tight. We had to go from London to Madrid, from Madrid to Lima, and then from Lima to Cusco. Taking us a total of 24 hours door to door. Now, arriving in Cusco by plane is not as simple as most places you arrive by plane. There is a very high altitude here. Natalia, how much is the altitude here? Because I can't remember. 3,336 meters. meters. Which there doesn't sound like that much, but it, is, it gives you a headache and you struggle to breathe, honestly. Like even when you're sitting there doing your makeup, you struggle to breathe. Yeah, I had that problem too. <laughs> nah, but the... Um, you do it's wear foundation. Uh, I don't. <laughs> but yeah, it's, uh, it's quite hard to breathe up here. It is. And uh, you've got to take a few days to acclimatise to the altitude, otherwise you're going to get altitude sickness if you go too hard. Uh, we actually had a bit of an issue last night with our taxi driver, so we ended up having to walk half the way. It was a dodgy taxi. I know, I know. Don't get in an unmarked taxi at the airport. I was very tired. We had just travelled for 23 hours. I just needed to get back. I ended up having a massive argument with the geezer, getting out and walking out half the way, so... It's just the way it is, isn't it? So to combat this threat of altitude sickness, fucking hell. Do that. Bloody pigeon. Um, where was I? Yes, combating altitude sickness for us. What I've done, I've booked us in to a nice hotel, actually the top rated hotel in Cusco uh, for three nights to get us used to the altitude. We've got a big, big trip planned, so we need to be ready for it. I'm quite excited about that. I'm not gonna tell you about it yet, but you'll see. So, here's the hotel. Somewhere relaxing, somewhere beautiful. Somewhere like this. Check this out. This place is called Antigua Casona Son Blas. The bed is comfortable, the service is amazing, the shower's perfect, the view from the balcony is pretty stunning first thing in the morning. And the breakfast. Check the breakfast out. Another good thing about this place is you can refill your water bottle as many times as you want, as many times as you need, every time you go out, every night. Which brings me on to the second thing we must be doing to get used to the altitude out here. Make sure you stay hydrated for the time you are here. That is a, a big part of it. You do not want to be getting headaches and all sorts of stuff like that. And three, you want to find some coca leaves and chew on them every morning because they apparently really help. That's what the locals do here, they drink the coca leaf tea. Coca leaves obviously being the base ingredient for cocaine. Unfortunately, it's not gonna have the same effect, but I'm gonna chew it every day anyway. That's what we need to do today, that is our mission. We need to find coca leaves. They can't be too hard to find. I reckon we need to find like a <sighs> market. Lips are going blue. I think. Oh, he was going to sell me. Ask. He was going to sell me coca leaves. Okay. <laughs> I ain't buying it from him. <laughs> I want to find a reputable store. He's going to sell me fakes. So. Hmm? Oh. Uh. Yeah. Oh, they're well fluffy. I didn't realise alpacas were that fluffy. I think they only 
Yeah. What am I thinking of? Llamas? Yeah. What's different? Uh, llamas are the ones that, they're a bit more aggressive, they spit at you. Alpacas are just really cute. They are really cute. Alpacas. They're well fluffy. It's nice, isn't it? They're yeah. the ones that, you know in Australia they get alpaca farms just to help guard their sheep because they're really territorial and they're like good sheep yeah. protectors. I like the way they chew. Side to side. <laughs> Hey. Hello. Oh no, thanks. Nay. No. I keep thinking I'm in India. I keep saying nay. Oh. Maybe later. Oh, can you go I have no cash. No money. Yeah, we. Yeah, we actually need to go. We actually. We. Are, we are. Yeah. England. Yeah. Oh, there's more paintings. You've all got paintings. Yeah. Everyone's. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everyone's got the paintings. Thank Don't you. forget me, my name is Manuel. Bye-bye. Nice to meet you, Manuel. Manuel. Adios, Manuel. Everyone has got paintings. We have been offered paintings about a hundred times already. <laughs> and I've been offered weed once. Don't know what that last guy offered me. Yeah. He offered me something. Buenos dias. He doesn't want to talk to you. He does not want to talk to me. He kept <laughs> looking at me, so I thought, oh, I'll say hello. He weren't interested. No. Probably thinking, what the fuck's this weird guy doing? <laughs> this is nice. Hello. I'm all right. Yeah, I'm all good. Thanks, man. Would you like to join us? No, no thanks. Uh, look, look. look. Ah. <laughs> no thanks. Fuck me. There are a lot of touts here. Jesus. That's what happens when you're in the tourist areas. So you just got to get used to. Mate, look at this building this is insane i can't even see the screen with these on just got them out to prove a point and now i'm wearing them <clears throat> where is she <sighs> it sounds good yeah they oh you, you tip at the end of a walking tour always and then they they get us street to try chocolate and pisco sours street food adventure you've just been saying no, you don't like the look of street no, food not, here no it's just um it's pisco sours and chocolate. It's not really. They take us to like some places. It's at three o'clock at McDonald's meeting point. But he said send us start. a message. Or at eleven o'clock in the morning. Tomorrow. Hmm. Don't have to go, but I just feel so good. Yeah, it might be good. Two hours. But we haven't even got any cash. I can't find a cash point. No. In fact, we can't find anything. We've been walking around alleyways since we got here. Oh, there's a lot of police here as well. What the f all riot shields. Like Call of Duty, man. <laughs> that is the Basilica de la Catedral. Sounded good, didn't it? That rolled off the tongue, that did. I don't know what it is. I've got no internet, I've got no SIM card, so it's a pretty cool looking building, though. And actually, I'll just turn around and looking at this square, it actually all looks pretty cool. Look at this. El Quadro food and drinks. Just spoke to the lady over there. They've got a pretty cool menu. They've got some traditional dishes. One of which that caught my eye was pieces of heart in a sauce or something. I don't know. Probably going to try that later. I don't know what it's going to be like. Why you just eat normal food? Well, I'm on holiday. I, I, I want to see what... I have to immerse myself in the local culture. Eat guinea pig there with a hat on it. I will eat guinea pig with a hat on it, even though it made me feel sick just to look at the picture. No, uh, no, no gracias. No, no, no. You've got to immerse yourself in the local culture. If I'm just going to eat Western food, I might as well stay at home. No, not Western food. They're not fucking like... You can just eat like normal... Like, normal meat. Or even llama. Oh, it is normal meat for these people. <coughs> Trust me, it's the best way. You've got to try what... Like, you've got to see how they live and... That's, that's the whole point. That's why I like doing it. It's good. And uh, yeah, it'll be interesting and we'll see what it's like. I never tried heart. I'm pretty sure. Unless it was in that offal in uh, Vietnam, but that was... That was actually quite hard to eat. All right, I've just been informed. The place to go for the coca leaves is the San Pedro market. You get twice the amount for half the price. Let's go. Thomas A. Edison, the inventor of the phonograph, has never before permitted his voice to be recorded for the public. A little bit of dog on dog action there. You think that's a male doggy shaggy? Yeah, I just saw his willy. Oh. <laughs> the, the thing is, the dog on top is actually someone that belongs to somebody. He's out here shagging all the, the street dogs. 
I've got a few mates like that. Hola, is the coca leaves? Oh, uh, quantos cuestos? Second? Cuatro soles. Oh, yeah, okay. Gracias. Two bags. It's okay. It's okay. Está bien. Está bien. Gracias. Two massive bags. What we going to do? I did there? not want all that change. I've got a shitload. It's fun somewhere quiet. I want to sit and chill for a bit. I'm bloody. Uh, I am getting walked into by everybody. I am. Uh, I'm getting tired. My lips keep going blue. I need to sit down. We need to chill for a bit. This is the whole point. What we're meant to be doing is chilling and we haven't chilled at all today. We've been walking backwards and forwards. We go down there, we need coke leaves. No, we need money. We need to go back down there. When we can't get money there, we can't try and find money. <sighs> Jesus. <laughs> These trainers. Oh, I've got new trainers, by the way, look. <laughs> the old ones just had to go. I was getting too much shit for them. Got these. These ones are so white, they make my socks look dirty. I've got the, the opposite problem now. Hola. Uh, Quantas cuestas uh, blueberries? Dossi. 12 is uh, £2.50 or so. Mm -hmm. Yeah? All good. Right, hold that. Oh. <laughs> Just dropped that off the <laughs> She's going to hate me because I've got nothing. You haven't got any small change. I only need, uh, no, no, all I've got is 10 otherwise. Yes. Oh. Okay, okay. Hopefully, she comes back. Otherwise, I've, 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 I've traded her for all this fruit. It's quite heavy. That's a lot. How much is a kilo? Four kilo. No. We paid £2.50 for like 250 grams of blueberries at home. I don't know how much it weighs. I think she said four kilos and it does feel quite weighty actually. Gracias. Gracias. Have a good day. I need to work out and we'll say that in Spanish. There we go. Now for all you people saying I'm unhealthy with the coca leaves. I don't even think they're unhealthy, but now we've got these. Balance is out, that's what it's all about. Balance, that's what life's all about. At least this way, Nat's carrying the leaves and I'm carrying the berries. Nat looks like the crackhead. <laughs> I'll get arrested by the police. <laughs> right, let's go. Bottoms up. I'm gonna be honest, I've got no idea what my dosages should be. And I don't know how long I have to it for but I suppose you just grab a I suppose you just grab a load and just chew them they're very hard they taste a bit like magic mushrooms oh. a bit earthy mouth's not really going numb yet she sold me duds how long do you chew them for didn't that do say seven minutes? Did it say seven minutes? Something like that. Really? Mm. I feel gaggy. It's making you feel gaggy. Mm. They're a bit earthy, aren't they? Shouldn't have bought two bags. <laughs> what do you think, Natalia? Yeah. Your first it's time with. You want to be sick? Don't. <laughs> Not really doing anything, to be honest. I'm, I think I'm swallowing too much of it. I'm meant to give you energy. Let's, let's right. Hold on. We're going to look this up and see exactly what we're supposed to be doing here because we uh, we ain't got a clue what we're on about. Uh, it's so awful. It ain't that bad. I'm really struggling with yes, it. I'm going to look it up. Hold on, hold on, hold on. My mouth is starting to go a bit numb. It's apparently a really good thing they use out here to help against headaches, altitude sickness. It's a replacement for coffee. It helps with motion sickness, nausea, pain relief. They use it for everything, basically. Yeah, my mouth's definitely gone numb. It's making me feel nauseous. I feel all right. I don't feel like any sort of burst of energy or anything like that. But yeah, I thought you were looking up how long we got to chew it for. Oh, no. Let's see how long we've got to do this for, because we've got to do this every day for what we've got coming up. It's getting warm now. After a little bit of um, research, 
You've got to chew for three to five minutes and you need a small handful. So I really didn't have enough at all. And I think where I'm just so high on life naturally, I don't, I'm not going to feel anything from these, but they're good for the, uh, good for the altitude sickness. And I really don't want to get any of that when we do what we're going to do. It's going to be, it's going to be pretty hardcore and I need to be ready for it. Oh mate, this is a minefield. Apparently you've got to chew them three to five minutes, move them to the roof of your mouth, chew a load more, move them to the roof of your mouth, and then put it in your cheek, hold it there for about 30 minutes, and then you'll feel the effects. <laughs> that, is, that is some sort of commitment. You're supposed to wash your mouth out after two. I've swallowed half of mine. You can cause damage to your teeth or something. Hmm? Can, can do what? Cause tooth damage. Really? Mm. Oh shit. That's like them nuts in it in Asia. I can't believe how bad that is. I think that's really awful, those teeth. Those leaves taste horrible. Right, let's go and get these blueberries out of the sun, shall we? And then we'll um work out work out our next mission for the day. Yeah. Oh 20, 20 minute walk back to the hotel. Not very much of a relaxing day, is it? So my, my, my body clock is completely screwed as well from those flights. Speaking of those flights, I don't know if you guys have ever traveled on Iberia, but that was our first time traveling on Iberia. And I'm pretty sure that was our last time traveling on, with Iberia. That was awful. The worst long haul flight ever. Imagine Ryanair or EasyJet on a long haul. Terrible. They ran out of drinks with a few hours left to go over the flight. The in-flight entertainment, half the stuff wasn't even working. They had like, about four films on there that actually worked and they were a bit shit. Oh, they ran out of food halfway up the plane as well. So when it got to me, I, there was only a vegetarian option. Literally like five bits of pasta in a little tray or a dry roll. Oh, it was just awful. What else? Oh, the staff were miserable. It was awful. I won't, I won't be going with them again. I don't know if you've got any different experiences with them. Let me know down in the comments because if I just had a one-off bad experience, then fair enough, but yeah let me know i've had a bit of a mission trying to find a decent atm they're all trying to charge me seven quid i found one the banco de la nacion perfect didn't have to uh didn't have to pay any fees got your money straight away <sighs> lovely that's the one you want to go to we've, we've been to quite a few atms trying to find one that doesn't charge you. I thought it was just the ones at the airport that was gonna charge us, because we, we nearly got ripped off last night with it. Um, but that's the one, Banco de la Nacion. Right, speaking of airports, and this one's quite a big one. We were about 20 centimeters away from losing our luggage yesterday. And they said at the airport, it's a very common thing here. So I'm gonna tell you now, so you don't make this mistake. We checked our bags in, in London, they told us the bag is going straight through to Cusco, no problem, don't worry about it. This is for people who are passing through Lima and going to Cusco. The bags will be handed back to you at Lima. Do not expect them to go straight through to Cusco. I had like just a, a feeling that they might come out there. I don't know why, but I did. And it <sighs> we waited there for 20 minutes, our bags didn't come through, I thought, ah, they probably are going straight through. Our receipt from British Airways in London said, that oh, I've lost it. I'm trying to breathe, man. I'm trying to breathe. Said that they are going straight through all the way, all three stops Madrid, Lima, Cusco. It was not the case. We waited there 20 minutes, thought they're not here, let's go. We started walking out, we got to the exit, and it was at that bit, you know, where you leave and you can't come back in. Well, we were standing there and we thought, oh, let's just go back in. And we asked somebody, and she said, no, no, no. Get your bags now, recheck them in on the domestic half of the airport at Lima because it's very common and you're going to get lost. So we went back over there and we had to wait. We were there for about an hour. Don't leave your bags at Lima airport. Zebra crossings don't mean anything, do they? No, no. Zebra crossings do not mean zebra crossings. Look at this place, man. Ah, oh, they got music over there. Oh, I want to see the music. Sounds like that sounds well nice. It does. Oh, uh, bagpipes. Is it the bagpipes? No, yeah, it's not. It's really? Yeah. It's in the engines of that place there. I thought it sounded Irish. Actually, it sounds like medieval. 
It sounds cool well, is actually, what it sounds. Maybe one of these nice restaurants here we can sit on the balcony. No, I want to try heart. Well, they might have heart. No, yeah, maybe. They're all cafes though. Look at these. filming them Looks like, that sounded so good man i love that 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 was a that's probably i don't even know what instruments they are but they sounded probably my favorite I together that was giving me goosebumps it? goosebumps and all sorts i don't think it was a normal violin i don't know i don't know that was that was fucking perfect that was so nice right these ladies here be very careful with them they're sneaky little buggers they said, come up to her and say, oh, do you want a photo? Do you want a photo? And obviously you want a photo. Because they look so cool. <clears throat> they put the lap, give you a llama. I was like, no, no, don't take the llama yet. How much do you want? No, you, you tell us, you tell us how much. Well, I know that's a recipe for disaster. So I said, I'll, give, I'll tell you what, I'm going to take one photo. I'm going to give you 10 soles. I'm going to give you 10 soles for one photograph. And before you know it, before I knew it, about eight of them turned up They're all around me trying to give me bloody llamas or alpacas, whatever they are. I was like, no, and I, and I, and they were like, no, it's okay, it's okay, you're 10, 10. I was like, all right, and then they all stood there around that and I looked at them all and I thought, ah, I know what you lot are gonna do, 10 each. So before I took the photo, I said, not, not 10 each, I'm gonna give you 10 and you can do what you want with it. Yeah, it's okay, it's okay. And I took this photo, only including two of them. And then after I took the photo, straight away, oh, come on, you need to give us more of this. Look how many of us there are. Look how many there are. I was like, ah, I knew you were going to do that. Look what the photo I took. And I showed them and they started laughing. They're like, ah, oh, you only took a picture of two of us. That <laughs> uh, was good fun. But be careful because they, I think apparently they will follow you around and pressure you everywhere until you give them money. If, the, if you get the photograph of all of them and then they don't all get paid. I was looking at them and I was thinking, you ain't not going to share 10 of these solas, are you? <laughs> I just want to say a quick word about the Peruvian people so far. I'd say, apart from that dodgy little bastard of a taxi driver that we first met when we got to that airport, everyone has been amazing. I think people here are so friendly. So Most of them are trying to sell you something, but they're really nice. They're not trying to, hold on, I'm gonna have to stop. Pissing it down with rain. Oh, by the way, it's wet season here, so that's great. Uh, Everyone has been so friendly so far. They're real nice. Like even if they're, they're trying to sell you something, but they'll still come over and chat with you anyway. They know that you're probably not going to buy something, and then they just have a chat with you for a bit. I think they're uh, honestly they're all well nice, well alright so far. And there's a lot of police around as well. If you're worried about traveling in South America, because we, we got warned by everybody I spoke to, but so far so good, no problems. They've all been great. Honestly, they've been amazing people so far really nice vibe here like it's very uh i hate saying that it's a nice vibe it sounds like a fucking hippie but 
it's a really nice atmosphere like it's very friendly right i need to put this way because this ain't waterproof all right the rain has subsided but the rain has also reminded me of a vital item i've forgotten to bring that's a waterproof jacket and trousers so we're now on another mission to find a rain jacket and trousers it's also reminded Natalia. What did you forget, Natalia? I forgot to get a rain cover for my jacket and my bag. <sighs> so. We come to South America in wet season and brought no waterproofs apart from that's brought a jacket that's questionably okay. waterproof. It probably is leaving waterproof. <sighs> so we need to get our acts together because we have got a 46 mile hike up a treacherous mountain through the snow and the lakes and all sorts the rain the snow the hail it's all going to be going on and we've got nothing <laughs> we are we have got to get prepared because we are doing the salcante trek on our own without a group not tomorrow but the day after we have to leave here at 4 20 a.m and uh and then it's going to be a strong five day hike through the mountains from there. <laughs> I don't know if we'll do it. I've seen a lot of people fail it. It's, it's actually quite grueling, uh, especially when it starts pissing it down with rain and it can get real heavy up there as well. Wet, Fun. wet shoes and you can't get out of your wet shoes. Yes, and when your shoes get wet, you can't get out of them. It's gonna be tough. I'm excited for it though. It's gonna be good. It's gonna be exciting. Ah, it's one of the top 25 hikes you can do in the world. So hopefully it'll be worth it. One of the top 25 hikes in the world and it's actually at an elevation of i think we got up to around just over 4,000 meters high above sea level so it's even higher than it is here so it's gonna be it's gonna be tough we'll be sweet as we're always good with stuff like that hola right waterproofs we're gonna video our trip it's still a bit small isn't it yeah especially with a jumper on yeah. Potentially. That's an XXL as well, guys, by the way. How much is 108? What are you looking for? That's a proper jacket. Okay. Is it okay? Si, sí, senor. Yeah. 140 soles, which is about 28 pounds, I think. I hope. I did quick maths in there. I was trying to speak a language I don't understand and work out the, the conversion rate at the same time. It's an alright coat though. I needed one. We just need, I need trousers now. Those bunnies are so cute. <laughs> is that a comida? Uh, mascotas. Mascotas? Ah, okay. How much is that? Uh, no, they're pets, oh. she's saying. What do you say, food? <laughs> I said, are they food? Oh my god. I don't know. They eat guinea pig. <laughs> We're going to go and get dinner now. I'm going to go and try that heart. All right, here we are. I am beyond tired. It is half five and it feels like a lot later. The body clock is still in UK time. But here we go. This is what I'm going to get, right? Anticucho de Corazan. Corazon. Pieces of heart pickled in chili peppers from the area on the grill. Accompanied by Andean potatoes, corn from the valley, and Crioli salad. Done. That's what I'm getting. Hola. Can I try the anti cucho de corazón? Yeah. Por favor. Okay. Gracias. Gracias. Game on. Look at the nice sitting here. Hmm? What? Yeah, well, what am I going to do with it? Coconut? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Mm. 
Yeah, it is, but uh, yeah, they're cool. They're nice. You'll definitely sell them, but there you go. Gracias. Not to me, no. Gracias. Buenas noches. <coughs> She's uh, chewing the coca leaves. She says she does it three times a day for two hours at a time. Pretty mad. Yeah, most of the waking hours, she's got them in her mouth. She says it's good though, she loves it. She does it every day. Bless her. Here we go. Yeah, now I don't know what you're so worried about. It looks well nice. It, it smells very good. I've got to say, it does smell nice. Let's see, let's see what I taste. Tastes good as well. It's bit, it just tastes like beef. If they just told me this was like some sort of steak, well, that's sweet as. It's a bit chewy though. Well, it's not chewy. It just takes a long time to chew. And there's a difference there. Well, I can chew it, it just takes ages. It's pretty good though. Told ya. When in Rome, they know what they're doing. All good. Well done. Now it's got pasta. What is it? Just a spinach uh, pesto pasta? Yeah, pesto and spinach. Not very adventurous, is it? This is actually really good. I'll try the other stuff. Try one of these potatoes with these little um, things. I don't know what they are. Apparently, they've got 3,000 species of potatoes in Peru. Correct? This is information from Natalia, so don't, if you fact check me, it ain't me, all right? It's, it's not. It's all right. They're just potatoes. That's just onion, and these are just whatever they are. What are they? Oh, oh yeah, corn. Oh, local corn. Biggest sweet corn you've ever seen. Look at that. All right, we've got to finish this, go to bed, and tomorrow we've got a mission to find waterproof trousers. I don't have a warm hat either. I actually kind of proper underestimated how challenging this walk could be. So, I'm just gonna go on a mission tomorrow, have a nice relaxing one, and then it'd be game on. This meal cost me 35 um, soles. Yeah. Oh my God, we're about to make history. No, less than that half We're about to make history. No, that's, not, that's less than a mouthful. She's gonna try it, she's gonna try the half. It's so good, honestly. No gracias. Nah, that's a small part. I want less than that. That's a small bit. If you want me to have it, I will have less than that, half of that. I've got a cut with one hand now. Look at that, the knife goes straight through it. No, it doesn't. It does, it does, it did. There you go. I'm putting Try it. it. Stephanie, are you going to watch it? Stephanie, watch this. Natalia's eating heart of an unknown animal. <laughs> it's good, isn't it? I wouldn't say it's good. Bullshit. I'd say it's edible. It's nice. It is nice. Come on, you know it's nice. You like it. I don't know. You do like it. You don't want to, but you do. <laughs> She likes it, I, know, I can tell. I can tell she likes it. Well, it's had blood pumping through it its entire living life. She likes it, I can tell. Look at her, you like it. You've eaten it though, I'm very proud of you. Your mum's gonna be so proud of you. <laughs> well, anyway, good night, people.